three blocks are in contact with each other on a frictionless horizontal surface as shown in the figure. Okay, now a horizontal force F is applied to mass 1. Okay, so given the, all the masses and also the pushing force, 30 Newton. Calculate acceleration of the system and also the contact force between mass 1 and mass 2. Okay, so how to do this? Okay, um, okay first of all, uh, we can see this, um, look at these questions. Um, so here have uh, three blocks, okay, three blocks. So uh, first of all, to do the question A, we can use the shortcut first, yeah? We, we can use the shortcut. Uh, we treat the whole system as one object. We treat the whole system as uh, one object, uh, all the masses as one object. Okay, we put it as mass total. Uh, mass total. So, what are the forces uh, acting on this block? We have the pushing force to the right. Uh, and he says that this surface is frictionless. Uh, that means no friction. Okay, no friction. The friction is equal to zero. Okay, friction equal to zero. And um, in the S component, there's only the pushing force. There's no, there's no, there's no uh, friction. There's no friction force. Okay, uh, no, no friction force. Okay, so um, only the pushing force and then acceleration to the front. Uh, okay, so to do the question A, okay, we just use the shortcut to find the acceleration A. Okay, so this one we just refer to the X component. Okay, uh, and then to know the positive negative sign for the force, uh, we use this one. Okay, Newton's second law. If we have acceleration, uh, then we say follow acceleration is positive force, opposite acceleration is negative force. Okay, so uh, all right, follow acceleration is positive force. So look at this question again. Um, now we have this pushing force. It is in the same direction with the acceleration. Uh, so this is a positive force. Okay, so force going to the right is positive. Force going to the left is negative. Uh, okay, so sorry. Yeah. So okay, so we apply the formula. Total f x equal to mass total. Uh, this one is mass total because we combine all the masses. Now, in the S component, we only have the pushing force and this force is positive because it is same direction with the acceleration. Uh, remember, uh, same direction, follow the acceleration is positive force. So, this force is same direction with acceleration. So, this force is positive force. So, put that as a positive force. Okay, that is a positive force equal to mass total is the mass 1 plus Mass 2 plus mass 3. Uh, okay. And then, uh, is there any friction? No, yeah? there's no friction uh, to uh, opposite the acceleration because it's a frictionless surface. Okay, this force is 30 Newton. So, write as 30 Newton there. 30 equal to, okay. So, the mass all is uh, 3.5, 4, and 5. Huh? So, total them up. 3.5 plus 4 plus 5. Okay, so let's calculate the acceleration. Okay, um, 2.4. Right, I got answer 2.4 meter, meter per second square. Okay, we got the answer 2.4. Is that correct? Yes, 2.4. That's correct. Okay, uh, this one is we uh, x component for the whole system. Yeah, that means for all three objects combined, three all all three blocks combined. Now we want to find the contact force between mass one and mass two. Okay, uh, so now how do we do it? Yeah. Okay, let let us uh, do uh, let hold on a second. Okay. So, uh, to do question B, we want to find the magnitude of a contact force between mass 1 and mass 2. 
that means okay um let me okay let us first identify all the forces for each of the block okay i already uh, redraw the diagram here uh, re, uh you, we need to determine all the forces for each block yeah and we also need to uh, draw a free body diagram for each block so remember here we have three blocks okay we have three three objects okay that means we need three separate free body diagram ah we need we need to have three separate free body free body diagram for for each of them okay in order to solve question b but b just focus on mass one and mass two okay between the force between them so uh, actually you just need uh two two free body diagram enough for mass one and mass two you no need to draw for mass three but for explanation purpose i uh explain all three free body diagram for you yeah for all three objects uh okay uh but this question b you actually only need two free body diagram for mass one and mass two okay uh, now okay first of all so what is the contact force yeah he wants the contact force between what mass one and mass two mass one and mass two that means uh the forces in between here uh between this one and this one uh so we need to find this one okay we need to find this contact force okay so uh never mind so let me let us do one by one first of all let's look at mass one mass one what kind of force exists on mass one it has its own weight uh has its own normal force Remember the subscript, uh, you need to write W1 instead of just W. Yeah, uh, this one is weight 2, W2, this one is W3. So you, you need to identify them by subscripts. Uh, subscripts. Okay, mass 1 has the force F, the weight, normal, and also, is there any friction? Frictionless. So no friction. Uh? So this, this surface is a smooth surface. So no friction. Uh? And then, uh, yeah. When this one is being pushed forward, okay, be pushed for, push forward. Okay, uh, what is this? So the you know the uh, acceleration is to the front. Okay, so uh, this block uh, will uh, this mass two and mass three actually is blocking in front, uh, blocking in front of mass one. So this mass one feel the contact force. You feel the contact force. Uh, uh, in the opposite direction uh, you feel the contact force backwards uh, because it's like mass 2 is blocking the way uh, so this is f2 on 1 uh, f2 on 1 uh, hope you understand uh, Had this f2 on 1 uh, okay so this f2 on 1 okay mass 2 is blocking the way now how about um, okay these are the forces for mass 1 now mass 2, mass 2 what are the forces? Okay, I use green color for mass 2. Mass 2 has its own weight. It has its own weight, uh, weight 2. It has its normal force. Remember, you must have the number uh, W1, W2. Uh. Don't just write W, W. Uh. Okay, and then uh, mass 1 is pushing mass 2 forward. Uh, that's the contact force. Mass 2, eh, sorry mass 1 is pushing mass 2 forward uh, with uh, f what is uh, f12 uh, uh, okay so this uh, f21 and f12 is what we want to find yeah actually is what we want to find the contact force uh, this is what we want to find f21 and f12 understand and these two forces are equal okay i can write f21 is actually in magnitude equal to magnitude of f12 uh, but opposite direction okay and uh, we want to find this uh, and then what else uh, we have um, okay and then uh, mass 2 also feel mass 3 blocking the way mass 3 is blocking the way so there's a force uh, backwards uh, so there's one more force backwards by mass 3 so uh, this is the one uh, this is what is this? This is F3 on 2. Uh, F3 2. Okay? So mass 2 feel that mass 1 pushing it forward.
But mass 2 feels that mass 3 is blocking the way, blocking it backwards. Uh, okay? Now that's for mass 2. Now mass 3. Mass 3 I use orange. Yeah, mass 3 I use orange. Now mass 3 has its own weight. It has its own weight, weight 3, and it has a normal force. Um, and mass 3, uh, there's no one in front blocking the way. No one in front blocking the way. So there's no force from, from the right hand side. But mass 3 feels the force from the left hand side. Uh, mass 3 feels the mass 2 is pushing it forward. Uh, pushing it forward uh, with this force. This is F, F, uh, this is F. What F two on three? Uh, this is F two on three. Ah, so this F three two and F two three, they are contact forces. Uh, they are action reaction forces, equal in magnitude, just opposite direction. Ah, uh? uh, these two forces they are equal. Ah, uh, just their opposite direction. I can write over there also. Um. Uh, F32, the magnitude of F32 actually is equal to magnitude of F23. Uh, okay? Uh, uh, what I can say is uh, mass 2 feels mass 3 blocking the way, but uh, at the same time, mass 3 feels that mass 2 is pushing it forward. Uh, this, this F32 and F23, they are equal in magnitude, equal force. Uh, equal force, just opposite direction. Okay, so these two pair, these two pair, the yellow pair and the blue pair, they are all action reaction force. Yeah, these two force experienced by two different objects. Uh, yeah, uh, this uh, F21 and F12 uh, experienced by two different objects, which is mass 1 and mass 2. And this F32, F23, they are experienced by two, two objects also, experienced by mass 2 and mass 3. Okay. Ah, uh, that's it. Yeah. Now, uh, let's draw the free body diagram for each of them. So we have the we have a uh, mass one, uh, mass two, and mass three. Okay, mass one, mass two, and mass three. Now we need to draw free body diagram for each of them. Uh, okay. So let's find draw draw it out. Okay. Uh, yep. So now let's draw the free boy diagram. This is the FBD. Okay. So uh, for mass one, it has uh, okay. First of all, we draw the axis. Okay. Let us draw the axis. Uh, 